13-year-old fiction writer Anaya Willibus has been blazing trail in New York City as the youngest author at the age of eight. Born to immigrant parents from Guyana, Anaya has been setting trends and bringing fresh ideas, looking at experiences in her personal life to create believable characters and compelling plots to tell stories her readers can relate to and allow them to share in her experiences. As a child, Anaya began to read at the age of two. She said reading allowed her to explore other worlds and places only the mind can take you and she felt inspired and wanted other children her age to enjoy those experiences as much as she did, hence her love for writing. After a visit to Guyana at the age of seven in 2014, Anaya felt compelled to document her unique experience of Guyana's rich, diverse culture, which came out in her first book, The Day Mohan Found His Confidence. Colette and Mohan used the opportunity to chat. Colette talked about her upcoming family vacation to her mother's homeland, Guyana. Colette had a priceless gaze on her face as she described all the things she planned on doing. She barely took a breath as she rattled off her list of activities. Drinking coconut water at Big Market, eating sugar cane, flying kites at the national park, visiting the zoo, cherry picking, the list seemed endless. Mohan was so inspired by Colette's story that he decided to share one of his. It was a story that his grandmother had told him about a little boy who grew up to be a great role model. He was so poor that he had no shoes, but like many other children in Grandma Sells' village, he did not allow this to be an excuse to miss school. Many years later, the little boy grew up to be a doctor who often visited his hometown and always donated food and clothing to the less fortunate. Mohan proudly stated, My grandmother always encouraged me to stay focused and take my education seriously. She said, One day, I will be someone great. Growing up in a West Indian home, Anaya grew fond of listening to stories being told of a homeland she had never seen and it had always piqued her interest from a very young age. Um, so those kinds of ideas in the story come from both the stories that my parents and my grandma have told me, um, and also from going there and getting to see the different things. Like I mentioned, drinking coconut water at Big Market, that's one of the things that I got to do. Or I heard stories like the one about the doctor, um, and those are stories based on stories that I heard. Um, about people that went out of their communities and they did something great, despite the circumstances. Upon her return from Guyana to her Brooklyn home, where she resides with her mother, Dimple Willibus, her father, and two other siblings, she began to put pen on paper and wrote about her experiences through her character's eyes. Um, well, since I've always loved reading and writing, one of the things that I've thought about is storytelling. Um, so after taking the notes, I realized that you know, I had a really a lot of details that I wanted to share and a lot of experiences. Um, and through writing and through wanting to be able to relate to people and tell those stories, that's when I realized that I could make it into a book. So I started writing them down and I asked my mom to type them up. And that's when I realized I really had something. This year marks the fifth anniversary for her first publication. When I first published the book, I didn't know that it was going to be such a big deal. So it's been really inspiring to me as well when kids will come up to me and tell me how much they enjoyed it or how much they could relate to a character. Um, and it's really taught me a lot about myself um, and helped me to improve as a person. Since 2015, Anaya has continued to immerse herself in her reading and writing. She has written three other books, A Bully's Disguise, Chico and the Homework Passes, and Make It Happen. Throughout her books, the readers once following Anaya's writing would see how her writing has evolved. Um, well, that's one of the things that's unique about being a student writer. Um, I'm constantly learning more skills. Um, so you can see, like, as my writing evolves, I start using more dialogue and things like that. Um, but I will go back and I'll read some of my books and I'll be like, well, that should have been different or I could have added that. Um, but I've left it the way it is because it's also shown how unique it is to be a young writer. Um, and to still not have learned all of the skills that I will learn eventually. Um, but you can really see my writing progress. Um, you can see things like my vocabulary change. A recipient of countless awards and a straight A student in the gifted and talented class, Anaya enjoys playing soccer and having fried eggplant and roti prepared by her grandmother. She has also proven to be a young champion in her community. In 2016, Anaya, under the leadership of her mother, founded a non-profit, the Stalwarts Youth Corporation. 
Um, and I really started it because as I started to talk to more students, I realized that there's a need for a, a kind of an organization where we can donate books and also to spread the idea of education, reading, and literacy. Recently, we went to the park and we distributed masks, face masks. Um, and even though that has nothing to do with literacy, it's something that I saw a need for in the community. Um, so it's mostly to show youth that you can use your resources to help your community. Anaya also writes for a local newspaper, the Canarsie Courier. But how does the teenager do it all? Well, I mean, it is difficult to balance all these things as a kid, but I also know that I have a lot of like time to do all these things that I want to do. But really, I guess it's a unique part of what I do and just being able to do something that I love to do, whether it be for an hour every day or an hour every week, um, it's really nice to be able to share my work. A visionary and a beacon to young people everywhere, Anaya aspires to be an English teacher and said she wants her life's mission to be one of reading, education, and literacy for young people everywhere. I'd encourage people um, to continue reading, um, use books as um, you know the window into other people's experiences. Um, use them for the things that they can teach you, for the experiences that you can have through them. Anaya has a fifth book soon to be published on her personal identity and cultural diversity. With this report for the Guyanese Diaspora News, I'm Jennifer Jabbar.